This is Jonathan Agioff here for Pro Boxing Fans. Delighted to be joined by JJ Metcalf for the first time, uh, the Commonwealth Super Welterweight Champion. JJ, how's it going? It's good, mate, to you. Not bad, not bad. Um, how have you found the last few months? It's been a bit strange. Um, this lockdown is no good, but I think they're, they're bringing more restrictions in, especially in Liverpool as well, so I'm not looking forward to that. Um, I'm guessing you were pretty glad to get out. I think you had a fight in February, just sort of before the lockdown. I'm guessing you were pretty glad that you had one in before then. I was, yeah, but it weren't really much of a fight. I was open to get a few rounds in. I'd had an operation not long before, so I was open to test my hand out in it. But I didn't get to use it, so it was basically a pointless fight, really. But it got me out as well, so... So did you again now? Yeah, yeah. So did you injure your hand during the Jason Wellborn fight? I injured it the fight before Jason Wellborn, and um, but I knew I couldn't get the operation till after the Wellborn fight because that was already penciled in. So I just had to sort of gamble and take the chance, really. Um, obviously fighting Jack Flatley. Um, on the October 10th show, so only a few weeks to go. How, how are you feeling? Um, I'm sure you're excited to get out. Feeling good, yeah. Happy to be out. Um, I was hoping for the British title, really, because I've been, been here mandatory for a while, but I'm not sure what's going on with the um, boxing board and the situation that, that's happening at the minute. So I'm just happy that Frank Warren's getting me out. Um, what sort of fight are you expecting with Jack? He's obviously former English champion, so he, can, he competes at that level. Um, are you expecting a live fight with Jack? Definitely, yeah. I've, um, I've done lots of sparring with Jack. Um, he's very tough, he's fit, he's strong. Um, so I'm expecting a good fight. I think it'll be entertaining. Um, you obviously are the Commonwealth champion. Um, it's such a packed division at the moment. Um, you've got Anthony Fowler, um, a, a Liverpool fighter as well as you, um, Cheeseman, Eggington. You mentioned um, the British title. Um, are these all possible? Are these all the names you want going in? Uh, if you were to get past Jack Flatley, definitely. Yeah. I, um, to be honest, I just want to pick the British title up. So. You know, Fitzgerald's available and fighting for his defending it. I'd like to box box him for the British title. But if he's not and the British title comes up against any of them opponents, I'd love to take that as well. And then hopefully come through that and move on then. Because I'm um, paid to do now. It's my 22nd fight. I need to, um, you know, I need to start pushing on to, to get these big fights in local if these domestic fights are there, take them, then I want to be sort of edging towards world titles and stuff. They are my goals. I mean, you will come on to the world title because you've actually got a very high rating in the IBF. But um, on that Anthony Fowler fight, how big would that be, um, not just in the division, but in Liverpool? It'd be a massive fight for the city. It's a big fight anyway because we're both pretty rank similar. Um, but the city would be buzzing. You know, I don't know how many times I've been asked when I'm a fighting anti Fowler. So I think everyone would be right up for it. Do you think that's the fight that is better with a crowd, though? Definitely, yeah. I think it needs the crowd, really, because the atmosphere would just be brilliant, I think. Maybe like a Anfield undercard. I don't know if you're a Liverpool Everton fan, but. I'm Everton. He's Liverpool. Good as some part then, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you've got that fight. Um, did you watch the Cheeseman Eggington fight? I did, yeah. Kraken fight. Mm. So. That, that's got to be another another one that um, that you're looking at. Um, yeah. I, you know, I don't. I want to just box whoever's got the British title and mandatory for that British title. I'm not overlooking Jack Flatley because that's a tough fight, so yeah. I've got to concentrate on that first. But other than that, I want to box for the British title because I've been, I think I'm old, I shot at the British title for a long time. Um, 
in terms of um, sort of the the IBF route, which I know you've got a high ranking in, are you also looking at that route? I know you said the British title, but is is it? Are you sort of weighing up which way to go, or is it hundred percent British title if you get past Jack Flatley? Uh, no, it's not 100% because I don't know what the situation of the boxing board keep putting it off or I don't know what's going on and I'll just push on because most of the domestic fights are with um, Eddie Ernst fighters so I don't know how the situation will work. So if they're not available, I'm open to push on. You know, I've been offered before, my hand was done in an um, uh, eliminator with Jack Kulkai, German, who used to be a world, ch- world champion. So... The likes of that would be, be great as well. An eliminator. Mm. The IBF. Um, I just wanted to touch on, um, just away from you for a second, um, your dad was um, former WB, WBU champion. Um, what Was boxing just the natural path for you when you were growing up? Yeah, it was, yeah. Because I was always watching him when I was growing up. But, I was also into football as a kid as well, so yeah, I, I, when I was growing up, I was thinking I was going to be a footballer, but that didn't pan out, and you know, I was just a bit better at boxing than I was at football. Mm. Did you have any trials or anything? Or Yeah, I trials for Liverpool, played for Liverpool schoolboys as well, so and, um, it didn't work out. <laughs> well, it's certainly <laughs> working out in boxing. Um <laughs> On that uh, Jack Flatley fight, it's obviously behind closed doors. Um, do you think that's going to phase you at all? What, what do you reckon about fighting behind, behind closed doors? Yeah, I don't think it'll phase me at all. No, I think it'll be a bit of a different situation yeah, from what I'm used to. But, you know, you're in these gyms, you're sparring all the time and it's not going to be much different to that. Hmm. Um, in terms of the fight, are you looking to put on put out a statement to to the rest of the division? You know, I'm just looking to perform, to get a good performance in, perform to my best, and you know, come away with the win. That's it. Yeah, and um, finally, I was going to say, what what's uh, the message to the fans that's going to be tuning in on October 10th? Uh, yeah. fight? It's going to be a great fight. Yeah. You know, you've got two lads. Jack Flatley's lost once or something, I think, out of his 18 fights. And, you know, it, I've, I'm unbeaten, so you've got two lads who are really going to put it on the line and you're going to be entertained, I think. And a uh, final prediction? Yeah, I'm just a James Metcalf win. There you go. Um, JJ, thanks for coming on. Um, best of luck with the final few weeks' preparation. I'm... Looking forward to seeing this fight uh, on October 10th. I'm sure everyone else is. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully catch up soon. Thanks Cheers, for having mate. me on.